Hey, yo, and welcome to Gallows Corner. I, I am shook. I am absolutely shocked and disturbed by the information my mother has just told me. I, I, I need to get this off my chest, all right? So, earlier this week, my mother, she stole, dirty little dog that she is, she stole my Belgian bond, all right? I've been vlogging all week. You'll find out about it when I release it. But needless to say, since then, I've been very careful with my food. So this morning, usual routine. Down the bakery, get myself a cheese and bacon slice and also a bloody lovely Belgian bond, right? Back to the kitchen, back home, and I pop it on the side. And I make it very clear to her that that is my food. You do not touch that woman, right? Anyway, she she, she gives me this answer, right? She goes, tells me I wouldn't dream of it in this weird little voice. She is recently she's been binge watching The Crown, right? And she has started speaking like a member of the royal family. It's ridiculous, right? Number one, she's an elderly woman from Yorkshire. She's not a bloody member of the royal family. Number two, they're a bunch of dirty paedophiles, right? And I've been making that clear to her, trying to educate her on it, and she will not listen to it. She thinks that they're, they're smarts full of roses or something, right? She says, it's propaganda, the crown. Don't believe that the royal family don't like it. Oh, oh, it made Charles look like he was a bit mean to Diana. Yeah, but what about all the rest that he did? What about the murder of Diana? It's propaganda on behalf of the royal family, right? And I'm, again, I'm pushing up, making this information clear to her about how filthy they all are. And what she says to me, well, it didn't seem to bother you when you were a child. You were glad to show your little winkles to Prince Andrew. Prince Andrew? Are you kidding me? The sweatless little nonce monster king himself. What are you talking about, woman, right? So she explains, apparently, the first year we moved to the Isle of Wight, just after they got married, Andrew and Roddy Fergie, right? They came to the Isle of Wight, they were touring around in their car, and it came by a beach that we were on, and they told me, go and see the prince and princess. So I ran up the beach, apparently, to wave to them, without my swimming trunks on, with my tiny little child penis on display, right? Prince Andrew has seen my tiny child winter. What do you think he's done with that information? He is a... The, the king of paedophilia, the nonce of the monster of the nonce, the king of the nonce monsters, right? What do you think he's done with that? At the very least, that's gone in his body wank bank, isn't it, most likely? And um, it's probably, probably formed some for, sort of dirty little foreplay between him and Fergie. You know, she's no Diana, she, she's ginger. They probably used that, that information, that is disgusting, that is child abuse. I didn't want to show my winkles with him. Don't make it sound like I was happy. I was a four-year-old child. You told me a prince and princess were there. I didn't know about the royal family and their dark, deviant history then. You should have fully clothed me. It's a safeguarding issue. Don't send me to, to, to go and wave at non paedophiles without any bloody swimming trunks on. Absolutely disgusting. I'm dis disgraceful behaviour. So this is another reason she needs to get out of my bloody house. I'm sorry to rage, but I need to get that off my chest. I don't think I've ever been so bloody disturbed.